Okay, this will be the second part of my new video. I'll try to explain what I just explained before actually using the physical circuits themselves. This is actually wired up a little bit backwards because I, I kind of designed it as I was going. So the latch is on this side right here. This is the delay circuit on the left, and the middle is actually the pulsing circuit. Uh, I really can't remember why I ended up doing that way, but once you get all the wiring on there, you really don't want to move anything around. Uh, the knobs on the side, you've seen this before. This controls the pulse rate. This one actually controls the de delay rate. It's just another capacitor. Uh, the, the actual circuits themselves, the 555 circuits, are very simple. It's the timer, or a capacitor, a couple of resistors, and a couple of diodes. And uh, the, cir the, the circuits in the schematic that I've sent some of you guys, and uh, I posted it on uh, Ben Schumann's website, the community.schumannweb.com, uh, I think is what it's called, in, in the fire alarm discussion section. And uh, that's pretty much it. I don't know what else to explain here. This relay is actually what pulses the bell. This is the another relay down here, the built-in relay, which uh, the delay circuit activates the pulsing, the, the alarm circuit itself. And then I just wired in like the display up here, so if I set it off, uh, let's see here, I can just set it off that way. I just made an F that blinks on and off just by wiring some of that together. And then these lights here duplicate uh, the pulse station. So these two buttons actually duplicate. This is, an, this is one side of the latch. This activates, and this deactivates. So I can activate it and deactivate it as much as I want without actually setting off the alarm. And, uh, or I can just do it the old-fashioned way. And that's it.